Now, I know we've mentioned some various types of penetration testing and ethical hacking, but I want to go into a little bit more detail, kind of the third level of detail, if you will, just before you get into the technical aspect, and that being the different types of attacks that can be performed against a given system on a network or a network in general. The first of which is full penetration, and that means there are no limits, go in, tear the network up, and let's look at what's left and see if we can piece something back together. We're going to take all of the restrictions off and actually treat as if we are a real hacker. Go in, no limitations, try to hide our tracks, protect ourselves. And when it's all said and done, we can get a really true picture of what the network looks like. Denial of service attack is basically to see if that attack can come offline. A lot of companies are really sensitive about this. Although it's important, a lot of companies don't like you to play around with these tools. Some of the companies I've worked with in the past have actually specifically outlined in their definition for goals and restrictions that no denial of service checks be performed. It protects them from losing the access to the system should I be successful in executing a denial of service. Specific information. Some companies may come to you and say, we're worried that someone might gain access to our stored credit card information. Say I'm an online bookseller, for example. I want you to see if you can get to my credit card information. Well, that's a great example of theft or disclosure of information. So we want to see if we can gain access to those records. That means everything else is off limits unless it's necessary to get to that point. So that's another great example of a type of attack that you might be asked to perform. Another very common type of attack, and this actually can play a role in any combination of these, is social engineering. Basically, the act of tricking someone into doing something for you or giving you information that you wouldn't normally be able to gain access to or perform certain actions. So social engineering, like I said, will generally play a role in a lot of these, but in some circumstances can be its own form of penetration testing.